sorry, I'm giving you a fact now that you don't know. It's not campaign money. No campaign finance violation. So, so they, they funneled it through the law firm. Funneled through the law firm, and the president repaid it. Oh, I didn't know he did. Giuliani he said did. that the president reimbursed his lawyer, Michael Cohen, for a $130,000 payment in essentially hush money that the lawyer had made to an adult film actress uh, just before the 2016 election. That's significant because the President Trump has previously denied uh, knowledge of that payment. Did you know about the $130,000 payment to Tony Daniels? And Cohen has indicated that he paid this money out of his own pocket, essentially. Uh, although he's always been fairly careful to avoid denying specifically that the president might have repaid him. So Giuliani said that he was saying this now and putting this new information out there because he wanted to essentially close the door on any discussion of possible violations of, of campaign finance law. Giuliani's point is that you know, there was no campaign money in this, so it couldn't have violated campaign finance law. The only problem with that argument is that's not how campaign finance law works. There are other ways in which using non-campaign money could still amount to a violation of campaign finance law. And one of those ways is if Michael Cohen essentially paid for something of significant value, $130,000, and he was later compensated for that by the candidate, and essentially that payment, if that payment has come to be believed to be for the purpose of you know, helping the candidate during the campaign, um, that could be a violation of campaign finance law. You know, I think, I think one way to explain what happened with the Giuliani interview is in trying to shut this door on this question of violations of campaign finance law. He seems to have opened three or four more windows, and all of those windows lead to questions about violations of either different campaign finance laws or other laws that could come into play, depending on how, exactly how and why uh, this money was moved around. President Trump tweeted about this all and basically offered a sort of clarification of his own lawyer's comments in a, in a fairly measured and calm way, which is not always how we see the president tweeting. Um, but he said that, look, it's, it's true what Giuliani says, and it's also not that uncommon for people to have you know, what's called non-disclosure agreements with people, whether their stories are true or not. You know, it's, it's a normal part of business to uh, settle claims this way. Um, that's, a, that's certainly an argument he's open to make, but I think some of what Giuliani says has raised questions as to whether that's all there is to this story. Certainly the president's position is that's all there is to this story. But I think, frankly, Giuliani has made a number of statements that suggest there might be more to, in, behind this.